He's all set up in there. Awesome. Please, Thank you very much. You got your food and everything? Yeah, I got food and drink. All right. I'm going to search you I one might, more time. I might need an extra water. Uh, You got two. You got a water and two uh, burger drinks yeah, in I'm there. Gonna... Oh, wait. There is? Yeah. And... Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. And all right. Vince Watson. All That's right. me. I'm going to also be temporarily taking these folded bills off your person. Do what you want to do, boss. All right. Um. All right. Have a seat. Do you know if this chest table is usable, by the way? Uh, I'm going to be taking all the things off your person, throwing it into a plastic bag, and we're just going to leave it outside. All right? Yeah, right all back. good. All right. Come on now. All right. The uh, equipment all set up? Negative. I'll set it up now for you. All right. There you good. go. I'm going to hand you that. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was also his. All right, and one moment, please. Do your thing, boss. All right, sir. From this moment on, this conversation will be recorded for your safety and for ours. My name is... Op Apologies. My name is Captain Bust Insider 469. I will be present during this conversation. Sir, go ahead. <clears throat> Chief of Police, Brian Knight of the Los Santos Police Department. Um, now, sir, you've already requested a lawyer to be present. Would you like to hold on to that request and have me call right. you a lawyer today? I'm going to be pleading the fifth until I have a lawyer. All right. Fantastic. Um, let me take a look here. There is currently one lawyer on duty, Mr. Ralph McDugan, who is a witness and drove up onto the crime scene. Um, do any right. lawyer? Do you know any other lawyers? Uh, unfortunately, without checking my phone, I wouldn't be able to look. I got you. Okay. Um, well, okay. So, um, it is currently seven thirty-three p.m. Eastern Standard Time, nine one twenty twenty-four. As I stated, my name is Officer Brian, uh, Chief of Police Brian Knight the Los Santos Police Department. I'm just going to read your Miranda one more time. At this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in a court of law. The right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you by the state if one is available. Seeing that one is not available at this time, um, we can take uh, a couple options here. Uh, number one is you can uh, waive your right to silence, and we can discuss this matter. Uh, the second option here is um we we let you go um uh, that's going to come with its own set of caveats which we're not going to really expand on right now or the third is you take the charges and you can file appeal if i don't know if, what i'm being if, charged with boss fantastic all right well at the at the moment uh it's going to be for uh resisting arrest uh and right. accessory to or sorry uh, robbery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Robbery? Yeah. Well, so, l listen, sir. Uh, I'm telling you what the charges are, right? But I don't want to engage in any sort of back and forth and have you, uh, you know, impulsively you make work. statements. Um, so, mm. are, are you going to be waiving the fifth today, sir? And what I can tell you is we can uh, talk through this matter and uh, we can potentially look the other way. This is a very petty crime at the end of the day but um we are going to be looking some level petty crime i'm sorry resisting arrest is a petty crime so yeah that makes sense at the end of that statement you did say crime is a crime yeah. at the end of the day not as petty right. as it can be it's still an arrestable offense sir all right and uh you know what i will i'll speak all right but uh i'm a withhold are you wa are you waving are you waving um your right? Mm, up until I want to use it, sure. Okay, that's perfectly fine. At any point, you could state that you're going to be pleading fifth, at which point we'll be ending the recording and we will go from there. You think? Okay, awesome. Um, All right, so uh, as you are aware, I... um. 
witnessed that entire conversation. Mm. I witnessed the handoff. Um, handoff of what? Uh, a tablet and the mm -hmm. little device that you referenced as a USB-X. All right. And you were... They're, they're inherently illegal. Sir, do you want to play lawyer or do you want to answer these questions? It's my job to look after myself here, boss. So, yeah, yeah I'm playing lawyer. Okay. Um, you're asking me, is it illegal for my presence to be there? No. What I'm asking is... Give me a second. Let me just take a sip of my tea. Take a sip of your tea. Can I ask you a question, sir? Of course you can. Is it illegal to uh, hold a hammer or own a hammer? No. So can you go right now to Home Depot and buy yourself a hammer? That's right. What happens if you take that hammer and beat the shit out of somebody with it? What happens? Well, then that's a crime. Thank you for answering your own question. Right. So hear me out. What were the you USB? doing? Let, let's start from the beginning. What were you doing down in uh, Vespucci Beach? Taking in the sun. At I night. just parked up my vehicle. At night. I just parked up my vehicle. In fact, I'd, in the middle of I'd the been night. there. Bossman, it's a beach. I don't know about you, but you can go to a beach night or day. There's no law against that. Correct, but you said to get some sun, sir. Okay, yeah. well, look, it's, uh, it's, it's, a play. it's one of those things you say when you go to a beach, right? Whether it's night or day, it doesn't really matter, right? I've never said that. Who says right? that, well, sir? You, you don't look like you've been to a beach. Sorry, continue. You know what? Go ahead. Just go ahead and tell I us I apologize, sir. I, listen, I apologize. As I said. I just went to the beach. Nice time down there. Parked my car up. I was going to go for a swim, but uh, this gentleman pulled up, and uh, I just had a little chat with him. What was his name? I fucking knows if I have no idea what his name is. How long have you known him? Country accent. Um, if we're counting up until now, uh, 10 minutes. Okay. And what was the conversation pertaining to? Why he wanted to go to see at the beach. Why he was I'm sorry, Sega. Like, well, like why he's at the beach. I got you. I wanted to understand what he was up to. <coughs> and that was the breadth of the 10 minute conversation. I wouldn't inherently say it was a 10 minute conversation. I'd say it's maybe a two to three minute conversation. I was referencing the time that I'd known him since the drive up from here. It had been about. Where were you prior minutes. to uh, coming down to the beach? Driving on the road. In fact, you could probably even ask one of your officers um, who had pulled me over for a running a red light, which he let me off on a warning. Um, which there, that was up in... What road is that? Vespucci? No, that's not Vespucci. Um, Vinewood. The Vinewood ro Road. Next to the vault. Next to the vault. Pull me I'm over there. A, I'm gonna grab a cop. Do you want one, sir? Uh, you know, I'd love one. And right. Cider, could you 311 seeing if anyone's gotten uh, pulled over Vince and have them put up a report for that? First and last name, please. I don't I don't know his first and no, last name. No, what's yours? What's your first oh, and last Vince name? Watson, but... Go ahead and flash me your ID if you do not mind. I got taken away in a baggie. I, I got, got it. it. Yeah, Vince uh, Watson... Uh, yeah, V I N C E. Did you get a ticket? No, it was a warning. All right. Hey, and whoever, um, Pulled him over is to do 20 laps around Mishro PD for not putting a report in. 10 4. All right. Sorry. How did he look like? It was a guy, short hair. Uh, guy, short hair. Driving a. One of the faster looking. I think it's like a Taurus. <laughs> Taurus? That's a slow one. I don't know. I don't know. It just, yeah, just, I don't know. Like a Buffalo looking whip. I don't know. It was like. Like an American muscle style cop car. Oh, the Charger. Something like that. Buffalo. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And what were you doing up there? Uh, well, I was just I was just on a nice little drive. 
I got you. And uh, the red vehicle? That's mine. Does it come back to you? Yep. I bought it outright uh, yesterday. Okay. Let me take a look here. Uh, Vince. Vince Watson. Weenie is the classic. That's the one. November Ciara CGSP. Why? Too sure on the number plate. I couldn't clarify. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. <sighs> so you arrived at the beach and you started chatting with him. Mm -hmm. What about the uh, second individual? Uh, that was you. That's right. And what was that conversation you had? I don't know. I can't me. remember. I got you. You don't remember the conversation about the ATM skimming? You don't? No, I, I don't know what that is. Um, I got a question really? for you, boss. Well, let's let's finish you, with uh, let's finish let's finish with my line of questioning here, and then you can. Sure, of course, certainly. You run yours. So you do not remember the conversation about the ATM skimming. No, nah, no, nah, I had a very brief conversation. You do with not the remember I... us witness you pull the ATM skimmer off. No, I, I didn't. Do you I remember? Don't think I touched the do, ATM. You, do you remember uh, handing the tablet to that second individual? Uh, I, I, uh, I gave, I gave uh, an electronic device to the individual. Yeah. A tablet or the USB? Um, or both. I don't know. I don't recall. Okay. Well, uh, for the record, it was a tablet and a USB. Not okay. only was it handed over, but it was given back to me for verification. It was given back to you. It was given so to that me, means... and I gave it okay. back to him. Yes. I'll let you finish your question. Yeah. Um, do you recall the $100 offer that you provided me? Uh, I, it wasn't for you. It was uh, for the other gentleman. Okay. You were offering him a hundred dollar. For a hundred dollars, you're going to show him how to skim the ATM. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. Okay. We can go over this. Um, do you recall the conversation about the USB being foundable in vehicles and houses you might be rumbling through? I don't recall. Why is there? 15 different appliances in the red and color vehicle that uh because i i buy and sell electronics um, you have receipts so i can uh no no i don't i don't have gotcha. receipts that it's a lot of it's were cash, you robbing any deals. houses up in vinewood part no, of that traffic no, stop so we're gonna have no alarms prior I to that traffic not, stop. i have not i have <laughs> the thing is boss you could have a, you could have alarms Right, but the the issue that you have is you have to place me on the scene. Now, this is the thing as Excuse well. Excuse me. It's... Excuse me, sir. What? I have to place you on the scene. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> you hear the cider? You... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I don't know where the fuck you're from, sir, but. Mm -hmm. um... mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh man. So, okay. All right, well, you, you can say whatever the fuck you like, but yeah, um, yeah as I said, I just I buy and sell electronics, mm. cash, and then I sell them to the pawn shops and make a little extra money. Okay. So you don't have receipts? No, it's cash transactions. When, do, it's when just, were these pawn purchased? Shops work. I do not recall. You don't remember when the last one? No, it's kind of... Uh, last, uh, I've only started doing it for about a, it's been about a, probably less than a day at this point. It was a little business venture. I thought I got you. So you must, and how did you meet these individuals that sold you things? See, a lot of people seem to have a lot of electronics and, uh, you know, I, I asked people, you know, do you got, you know, you got something you want to sell, whether you got a toaster or something, maybe you're moving house, you know, I can take it off you for a certain price to say like lower than what the pawn shop how many individuals did you make these transactions for in the last 24 hours i wouldn't know boss i'm sorry well is it two is it three is it five is it ten is it more? i don't know i don't know was it one 
I don't know. Definitely you don't know if one. it was one? It was more than okay. one. It was more than one, I'm sure. What about two? I don't know. So you don't know if two individuals sold you 15 different appliances? I, I can, what I can verify for you is that I can say Sir, that it was multiple individuals. Multiple. So it, wasn't, so it wasn't two? It was more than two? Well, well, two is a multiple of one. So yeah, it could, it so could be Have you two. ever been diagnosed with dementia? With dementia? Yes, sir. Uh, the reason why I ask is because your memory is very faint. And mm. okay, I let me tell let me you ask exactly you how many people I have talked to. And my right. memory, sir, Without is quite at... good. Right, right. Do you recall well, when, do you sir. recall okay. explaining to uh, that man that you take the USB and the tablet, you connect the little ATM reader in, and you sit there for the locals to come by and start using it? I do not recall. And then you didn't. Um, do you recall? Can I, can I ask you do you recall so? stating that you didn't make too much money this time because, well, <laughs> you hadn't been there for too long. Uh, boss man, uh, I don't know what you're talking Why about. Why did you have a USB on you, sir? Uh, it's, it's how you store your data for your computer. You know, if you got photos. You Why know, did you, you have a tablet on you, sir? It's how you get. It's how you see your photos. What is this immigration letter? It's mail. I come from. I came from the UK, sir. Okay, and who does this immigration letter belong to? I believe it's. Uh, it comes back from uh, my mother. What's her name? Um, I don't know what her maiden name is. Okay. I've always just called her mum. Okay. Well, what's her first name? <laughs> As I said, that's her maiden name. I. No, oh, hold on a minute. You don't know what your own mother's name is? And and maiden Never name is a, is a last name, sir. Yeah, that maiden would be name, your last name, name, you have a meatball. All right, gents, you seem a little hostile, so I'm going to plead the fifth at this point. Okay, fantastic. Um, All right. Sir, here's the deal. All right. Um, You're absolutely fucked. That's cool. You know what entrapment is? Uh, yes, I do. Do you know your mother's name? You, you want to read name? the definition? You want me to read you the? Wanna, yes, you want me to read like the to definition read of something that doesn't exist in our penal code? But you, would not entrapment coin... doesn't exist in your penal code. Yeah. Do you want me? Uh, do you want me to read the definition uh, that is used in the United States? Sure. Yeah. Which would require a comp uh, compelling you. And giving you the means to commit a crime that you would not otherwise be committing but would not be applicable given the fact that you were committing the crime previously mm -hmm. and then did not take any sort form of transaction and then conduct that particular right. thing in front of us so, without any yeah. level of uh, of means that we would have provided you. Right. So, so from what, that, what, what about from the that definition, definition that's from complete? That, from that definition. That is completely right. inapplicable. Yes, go ahead. Okay. From that definition, right? That would imply that someone would have to ask me. You know for how many times? Let's, let, here's the deal. It sir, sounds I, like you, you, no, you no, no, realize no, you fucked up. No, it, it, you pled the fifth, sir, and you want us to continue engaging with answering. I'm asking you questions. That's not how the fifth works, sir. What the hell? Do you want to waive the fifth? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going I'm to I'm lock, lock it in on the fifth, and uh, I'm going to shut the fuck up. All right. Fantastic. Sir, now this is my time to uh, mention to you. This could have gone many different ways. In fact, you could have walked out of here. You still have that option to walk out of here because we just have a couple of questions, quite frankly. Um, I think at the end of this, right, I'd rather not have your name on some sort of docket case involving wherever this shit is coming from, who's involved with it. But instead, I'd rather you just walk out of here. You can even make it look as though, you know... Maybe you were, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you ran away. Or alternatively, we could charge you, write up our reports and all that jazz. And I just don't think that's your best option. Ask your question. See if I answer. You going to waive the fifth, sir? You can refuse to you answer cannot, certain can... questions, sir. Look, as I said, you can ask your questions. You can see if I Are answer. Are you waiving the fifth? Yeah, so the, the problem is, sir, is the moment that you say I plead the fifth, right? In order for us to continue this, 
conversation. Your fifth has to be waived. We can't just, oh, mm. I waived the fifth. Now I don't waive the fifth. Oh, I waived <laughs> the right. fifth. You know what? If you Let's don't take... want to answer a question, just okay. say, right. I don't want to answer understand. it. Yeah. You know what? Don't... I understand. Yeah. Well, here, how about yeah. this? Right? Right off to what I'm about to say, I'm going to waive the fifth, and you guys can do whatever the fuck you need to do, all right? So what I'm um, going to say is this. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. Does this gentleman want to listen or what? There we go. What I'm going to say is this. Mm. I'm going to waive the fifth at the end of this statement. Right? So don't go asking me questions that you want answers to right after I wave the fifth again. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I think I think you're mistaken. Let me go ahead and explain this again. Waving the fifth means that you are willing to answer questions. Pleading the fifth means you do not want sorry, to answer sorry, sorry. any I, more questions. That was a that was a, yeah. a miss a miss uh, miss. It's word. okay. It's okay. all right. I get and it. When, In when, England they don't speak yeah. this language. I get it. And when you wave the we fifth, English, you do not need to answer for. every question. All right, Amen. I'll wave the fifth. Okay. All right, let's continue. So oh, wait, here, wait, wait, here... Sorry, sorry, I plead the fifth. Fuck, I keep fucking up the other yeah, wording. Okay, so you, you, want, you want us to I'm charge you? I'm not going to talk, is what I'm saying. You're not going to talk. Me. Okay. Okay. Wait right here, sir. Shouldn't have called him half a meatball. I don't think there's anything else we need to ask him. Uh, he's already dug himself a big yeah. hole. <clears throat> also, I, the entrapment thing really is interesting. Because even if entrapment did exist, that was not entrapment. That was... Well, yeah. Well, it's, 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 the thing here is, is one thing you'll understand about these criminals... Is any time that you're on a scene, you're not wearing your exact clothing as an officer, it's entrapment. That's what they believe. Even if they're yeah. the ones who are doing all the crimes and you are literally observing and asking questions as they're doing these crimes, it's entrapment. Yeah. That's their definition. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, entrapment would have mean we gave him the equipment. He had the yep. equipment. He, and he we're get... the one teaching him how to do stuff. Yeah. yeah. There it is. We'd be like, hey, here's the USB. Here's whatever else he needed. Go and rob this. Oh, you don't know how? Here's how you do mm. it. That's a trap. <clears throat> I <clears throat> personally say we hold um, what we need for investigative purposes. Let's not waste our time charging this guy. Let's get it in his head, make him freak out, and let him know. Let him tell whoever he's afraid of that we're watching. And do we really need a robbery charge on this guy? I don't give a fuck. But I'll tell you this yeah. much. Him being this coy and afraid compared to the last one, we need to find out who the fuck he's working with. I Here mean, I think we're going I think we're going higher up. I think the last guy was small fry. This guy's yeah. maybe not big time, but like, you know, a little bit higher up than whatever the yeah. last guy was. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Last one was two is wrists. And this guy's up to his elbows in this shit. <clears throat> you can smell it. Yeah. I'm going to um, get confirmation how long we want to maintain uh, evidence uh, for, um, and but this is this is this is fucking insane. Okay, um, yeah, just, let's. I just feel like we're also just so in sync on all this. Oh, we, yeah, we had yeah. perfect. We had perfect smoke. Yeah, we there. did. We did. Yeah. We did. It was it was starting to creep me out. I'm going to be honest. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> all right. Um, Okay. Uh, Bussin, um, can you give him what uh, the remainder of his belongings? Let him know yep. that um, uh, he can receive. So right now, I have, a, I have the contents of the immigration letter, the internet bill. Uh, the reason I took those things off his person is primarily the immigration letter, because that if it was the internet bill, fine. But the immigration letter stuck out to me. Um, that sounds like some federal fucking letters, right? He I have his tell you the name and it just doesn't have his name on it. So mm -hmm. he can have his crowbar back. Um, right. his gun, his I'm going to run the gun and then, uh, I'm going to go run the gun and he can pick it back up at the station. MRPD, yeah. these are your belongings for investigation. You can pick it up at a later date. Yeah. 
And he's gonna he can have his knife back as well. There we go. All right. All right. I'll go get him. If you guys uh if you want to get out of your detective, go wait in the car. I'll All right. be right back with him. Oh, yep, yep, yep. oh, uh I'm gonna bring him down to the station. And then Got if it. you bring him down to the station, I'll I'll have everything processed by then. I think we only have one car up there. No, there's two. Is it? Well, yeah. I think the cadet took the other one. Oh, uh, we'll yoink one. We'll yoink one. All right. I'll, if, if, if there's not another one up there, I'll find one. Easy. 